Tension over Taiwan is reaching boiling point. Taiwanese are afraid that the Chinese are going to pick their moment, and their moment is now. Will China invade? Massive numbers of troops and military hardware along the border of a neighboring state. Sound familiar? Everyone's looking at Ukraine. That's their great fear. China is flexing its military muscle. Its forces are carrying out exercises right on the border of its neighbor, Taiwan. That's not that unusual. China has carried out similar drills before. But now they're more frequent and getting closer to Taiwan's borders. Adding to the tensions, a visit by US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the highest ranking American official to travel to Taiwan in 25 years. She is second in line to the presidency. And so from the Chinese point of view, she is much too senior to be going. But why does China care who visits Taiwan? And why do its forces carry out these massive exercises on the border? Taiwan has its own constitution and elects its leaders democratically. But technically, it's not an independent state. And China aren't in control either. But they want that to change. China's president, Xi Jinping, has made it a mission to make Taiwan part of his country. They regard Taiwan as a, as a renegade province. He wants that to be in his legacy. The island's history is entwined with China's. People have lived in Taiwan for more than two millennia. And for most of that time, it's been directly ruled by China, until the country's brutal civil war. Mao's Communist Party fought and eventually defeated the nationalists led by Chiang Kai-shek. Chiang and about 1.5 million supporters fled to Taiwan. And for 50 years, these nationalist exiles rejected China's government and ran the country under authoritarian rule. That changed in 1996. Leader Li Tenghui rejected a one-party system and put his job on the line in Taiwan's first open elections. Tenghui won and became the island's first democratically elected president. Most people in Taiwan live their lives as if they are an independent country. There are many people around the world who don't realize that Taiwan isn't an independent country. But most people in Taiwan are happy with the system they already have. And while they don't want full independence, Taiwan is almost entirely united against the idea of being ruled by mainland China. The frontier between the free and the communist world. For almost as long as Taiwan has ruled itself, China has wanted to take back control. What stopped China acting on that is largely down to Taiwan's close relationship with the United States. During the Cold War, successive presidents were committed to fighting communism around the world. The enemy of their enemy became a friend. And that brings us back to today. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. China say the US has violated a treaty it agreed with them back in 1979. America said, OK, there's one China, but we will always support Taiwan. We will provide them with what they need to defend themselves. So now you've got the US, China and Taiwan all talking tough and threatening retaliation. China's vision of reunification has some comparing Taiwan to Ukraine and raising the possibility of another invasion by a nuclear power against a smaller nation looking to the United States for help. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has shown us once again that these regimes will stop at nothing in the pursuit of their expansionist goals. Taiwan has an army of about 300,000, whilst China's military is the biggest in the world. Russia also had a much bigger fighting force than Ukraine, but has found out that doesn't guarantee victory. David and Goliath. Sometimes, well, not necessarily that David wins, but David can hold Goliath off until the West comes in with more weaponry and more help and so on. So I think that that is the lesson that Taiwan is, is taking from Ukraine. This year, Taiwan conducted its largest ever disaster preparedness exercise. The president herself went out on a naval warship. Everybody got a message on their mobile phone saying, the Chinese are coming, hide, go undercover. The streets were empty. Everybody had to participate in it. So there's a sense in which I think it's much more immediate. Taiwan will hope the preparations aren't needed, that China will look at Russia's struggle in Ukraine and decide an invasion is too risky. But she is talking and acting tough. Some think he would risk a costly war to take Taiwan. And if China does invade, it's far from certain if the United States would come to Taiwan's rescue. The danger for Taiwan is that they're just going to get crushed in the tectonic plates of, of history. And that in the end, the Americans will be so worried about World War III that they will not come to Taiwan's defense. That's their great fear.